Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is June 28th, 2017. Taking a look at our solar conditions, solar wind speed is sitting at 452.2 kilometers per second with a density of 5.3. Still looking at AR sunspot region 2664. Again, poses no threat whatsoever for any solar flares. Taking a look at our KP indices, we are sitting at two and the 24 hour max was also at two. So very quiet right now. And we take a look at the SDO, here's why. Zero coronal holes right now. Some minor openings, but nothing that should be any of effect to Earth whatsoever. And just real quick, I wanted to take again from spaceweather.com. The sun is flat lighting. Lonely spot AR2664 is decaying and no longer poses a threat for even minor explosions. As a result, the sun's X-ray output is low and flat lining. No forecasters say the chance of a strong solar flare on June 28th is no more than 1%. Welcome to the Grand Solar Minimum. Checking out our weather for today, there is some activity in the middle of our country in the Midwest and in the Northern Place, so we'll keep our eyes on that. Also, you take a look at tomorrow's outlook, and it's not going to be any different for the same folks in that region. It might extend a little further east. But it looks like much of the country tomorrow gets a better shot at storms. Mari? Thanks, Jake. We had a great picture sent in to us by our very good friend and moderator on this channel, Matt. Check out this rainbow. Coincidentally, the article on spaceweather.com covers sunset rainbows. On June 25th, Brad Timerson of New York stepped outside after a brief rain shower and witnessed a remarkably tall and remarkably red rainbow. It was about as big as a rainbow could be, marveled Timerson. What made this rainbow so tall and so red? The answer to both questions is the sunset. Atmospheric optics expert Lee Crowley explains, sunset rainbows ride high in the sky because their centers are exactly the opposite of the sun. Like a seesaw, the lower the sun, the higher the bow. Sunset light making up the bow is highly reddened by its long travel through the lower atmosphere where the air and dust preferentially scatter away blues and greens. Timerson's bow shows something more, that rainbows are discs with colored rims, adds Crowley. When you next see a bow, look for the contrast between the bright sky inside and the dark of the Alexander's dark band immediately outside. So thank you, Matt, for sending that in to us. Back to you, Jake. All right, that's going to do it for today, folks. Please like and share. We'll talk soon.